Hello and welcome to the channel Let's Learn Electronics. Let's have a quick recap of the last video. We studied this Zener regulator circuit. Zener diode is the hero of this entire unit as long as VI is uh, stable and RL is fixed. It behaves like an open circuit. We calculated the value of this V and VL using a standard potential divider method in the last video. If you have not viewed the video, please go back to the channel, watch them. It will help you understand things better. Anyways, uh, we calculated this value V and VL and we, right now as everything is stable, VI is in this fixed it's not disturbing the system so zener diode is not here in this scenario now let's just imagine that vi has started increasing vi is increasing gradually gradually and it reaches to a value that this v is now equal to the breakdown voltage breakdown is triggered the zener diode starts behaving like a battery I have explained all these things in detail in the previous video. So now uh, I just want to add some mathematical formulas to the previous topic. The Zener diode is now working as a battery. It's turned on. It's allowing the excess of current. The excess of current it's flowing through the diode. It's actually the diode. And now it's behaving like a constant voltage source. It's providing a constant Vz volts to the load resistor now in case for example vi is now fixed to a vi is increased and now it is a stable and it is fixed to a certain value but load is varying load is susceptible to variations load is varying now then how can we calculate the range of variation the zener diode can only handle up to a limit so what how can we calculate this range the rl minimum and the rl maximum so uh, applying this formula vl is equal to vz now the diode is on so it will have a constant value of vz putting the, these values in the equation we can calculate this rl minimum just multiply rs into rl cross multiply here simple mathematics and you can calculate rl minimum this is the minimum value of resist load resistance which a zener diode can handle in this circuit and when the resistance is minimum naturally the current flowing across it the current flowing through it would be maximum so we can calculate il max in this through this formula now Keeping this thing in mind that VI is constant, only uh, RL is varying, VI is constant, so IS would be fixed. IS can be calculated like this, VS upon RS, it's a fixed value as of now. Only resistance is changing and this is what we want to calculate right now. If resistance is varying, then how much variations can a Zener diode handle? This is the minimum value of resistance, which a load resistance, which a diode can handle. Now, what will, would be the maximum value? We have this current IS being divided into two branches. The excess of current will be flowing here in the reverse direction like this in the I, IZ form and the load resistance, resi, uh, load current IL. These are the two currents. Now, uh, there is some limitation to the maximum current of Zener diode. Only up to a maximum value can flow. Otherwise, the diode would, would burn out. So, when I when it will be, it will reach to IZ maximum, when this, this branch, this branch of Zener diode will have maximum possible current flowing through it, then naturally the load resistor will have minimum value of current, which would be IL minimum. 
so using this equation we can calculate the value of minimum current in the load resistor minimum current in the load resistor bahut aasan bhasha mein samjhaun jab ye zener diode maximum current flow kara raha hai to naturally dusri wali branch mein minimum current hoga aur jab wo current मिनिमम होगा तो ये रेजिस्टेंस मैक्सिमम होगा ना ऐसे हम कैलकुलेट कर सकते हैं अपना आर एल मैक्सिमम आई एल मिनिमम की वैल्यू हमें पता है ओम्स लॉ वी एल अपॉन आर एल इन दिस वे वी कैन कैलकुलेट दी आर एल मैक्सिमम सो नाउ वी हैव गॉट दी रेंज ऑफ लोड आर एल मिनिमम टू आर एल मैक्सिमम कि इतना लोड हम वेरी करा सकते हैं now let's imagine a situation where this load is fixed but the supply voltage is susceptible to fluctuations then ye zener diode bechara kitna variation in power supply manage kar sakta hai now let's calculate that this is the equation which we studied in the last lecture just remember this equation by heart put the value as vi minimum vz is constant here everything is constant other than vi minimum so this way we can calculate the minimum possible supply kar, uh, voltage jo ek zener diode handle kar sakta hai when this would be minimum ab hame calculate karna hai ki kitna Uh, uh, कितनी मैक्सिमम पावर सप्लाई ये हैंडल कर सकता है तो मैक्सिमम वैल्यू कैसे निकाल सकते हैं हम वी नो दैट आई एस में जितना मैक्सिमम करंट इसका इस रेजिस्टर में फ्लो करेगा दी आई एस मैक्सिमम वैल्यू एक पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू मैक्सिमम इसमें फ्लो कर पाएगी वंस वी नो दैट एंड वी नो दी मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ जेनर डायोड मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल करंट इन दी इन दिस जेनर डायोड आई जेड मैक्स हम इस इक्वेशन को फॉलो करते हुए कैलकुलेट कर सकते हैं कि हमारा वी आई मैक्स कितना होगा वेन मैक्सिमम करंट वुड बी फ्लोइंग इन दी जेनर डायोड हम इस इस रेजिस्टर uh, की अक्रॉस uh, जो पावर जो वोल्टेज ड्रॉप होगी वीएस मैक्सिमम उसे कैलकुलेट करेंगे और उसमें हमारा जेना डायोड का वोल्टेज ऐड कर देंगे दिस वे वी कैन कैलकुलेट वी आई मैक्सिमम ये मैथमेटिकल इक्वेशंस अपने माइंड में रखें इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल बी डूइंग सम न्यूमेरिकल्स बेस्ड ऑन दीज इक्वेशन बेस्ड ऑन दिस टॉपिक सो वेट फॉर दोज वीडियोज वॉच इट अगेन एंड अगेन इफ यू आर कन्फ्यूज राइट योर कन्फ्यूजन इन द कमेंट बॉक्स सो दैट आई कैन हेल्प यू इन क्लैरिफाइंग योर डाउट्स वेट फॉर द नेक्स्ट वीडियो एंड वील प्रैक्टिस मोर न्यूमेरिकल्स वील स्टार्ट प्रैक्टिसिंग न्यूमेरिकल्स नाउ till then bye bye like the video share it subscribe the channel if you have some writing assignments and you need some help then please drop us an email on this email id let's0learn0electronics@gmail.com don't forget to comment your doubts in the video below thank you for watching bye bye